एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम लीनियर इंडिपेंडेंस एंड डिपेंडेंस ऑफ वेक्टर्स सो वेक्टर्स एनी हाउ वेक्टर्स वी कैन रिलेट टू मेट्रिक्स इट मीन्स वी आर डूइंग वेक्टर्स टॉपिक and we have understanding of matrix then linear independence and dependence with the help of rank of a matrix we can easily uh, figure out that what, uh, what what relation if the vectors are linear dependent we can easily find out by finding the rank of the matrix then dependence also uh, independence dependence is it becomes very easy if we write the vectors in the form of a matrix so it means in vectors also matrix topic helps a lot Hello everyone I am Dr Seema Thakran welcome to S Chand Academy if you want to study linear independence and dependence of vectors topic in detail please refer to the book by S Chand publishing the e book link is given in the description box below so let's start with the uh, linear independence and dependence of vectors so i hope in, uh, you remember what is a vector so uh, let's start with the vector uh, linear independence and dependence of vectors so first uh, the thing is that i hope i hope you remember what is a vector so vector is vector has mass and direction this you know very well scalar and vector difference so scalar uh, doesn't have direction in all but vector always has mass and direction we always write vector in this form here i'll write the vectors in a uh, different form this is one way to write a vector and another way is this this way also we write so this is kind of matrix form you can see this is one only one row and three columns so this way we can write but if we are doing matrix topic i will not write the uh, vectors in this form i'll write the vectors in this form only so this is first vector suppose this is my second vector this is my third vector and i want to check this is a this is b this is c i want to check whether these vectors are linearly dependent or independent how to check now how i am checking you just see there is a, a, a proper method for this uh, to check linear independence and dependence of the vectors so to check linear independence i'll start with the theory part first the main uh, uh, explanation uh, linear independence and dependence of the vectors how to do it let suppose you have three vectors and now i'll uh, because in matrices we never use a b c terms i'll just call the vectors as let x1 x2 x3 and suppose x4 uh, vectors we have b four vectors we have let the uh, you will choose now scalars depending on the number of vectors suppose if you have four vectors it means four scalars you will be choosing so let lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 and lambda 4 are the four scalars as i told you it depends on the number of the vectors four vectors four scalars three vectors three scalars consider the what we do after this consider the linear combination and what does it mean consider the linear combination of the given vectors as this is how you write first scalar first vector plus sign second uh, scalar second vector plus sign and this you do for all the vectors then after this after this you put up the value of these uh, vectors 
you will solve this system and in case you are getting zero then and after solving suppose when you are solving i i just do it by by example only when you will solve this and in 12th class also system of linear equations you have solved the same method you can apply uh, as you did in your 12th class anyhow i'll discuss the new method so x1 x2 x3 x4 uh, you put up the values in case this equation imply all the scalars zero you are getting all the scalars as zero you will say that the vectors are linearly independent I'll connect the matrix concept here, but uh, the, this part right now I'm not writing. Just understand only what like uh, on what conditions you will be saying that uh, uh, when the vectors are linearly independent. In case any any of the scalar is non-zero, or you should say at least one scalar is non-zero at least one scalar is non-zero. In that case, the vectors will have linear dependence relation. It means if all are zero, linearly independent. If anyone, any, at, at least one is non-zero, in that case you will say that linear dependence is, uh, will have linear dependence relation It means the vectors are linearly dependent. If dependent, then uh, you are always uh, asked to find out uh, what type of relation they have, uh, 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 what type of relation uh, among the vectors, and then how you find out. You you will use this linear combination only. So let me take up one example quickly. So, check whether the vectors one zero 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 one zero 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 one are linearly independent. Li stands for linearly independent or linearly dependent if linearly dependent find the relation also this is how you get the question relation also how to start now i'll call this as x1 x2 and x3 so my x1 is 1 0 0 x2 is 1 0 Okay, using uh, matrices, we can go in any dimension till uh, you know that we can even visualize 3D, three-dimensional picture we can generalize or we can visualize 4D is difficult to understand even like 5D, 5, 6D. But if we are using matrix concept, then we can like uh, discuss any dimension uh, use uh, for vectors. But uh, uh, in theory, if you uh, uh, if you know about vectors, we do only till 3D, till date, we can only discuss 3D pictures, 4D pictures we never discuss in our theory, because that is uh, anyhow very difficult to visualize. So these are the three vectors. So let's make uh, one, let us consider the linear combination. the linear combination as how I told you three vectors so three scalars I have introduced you can see and it should be equal to zero uh, this is also must so now put up the values x1 is my 1 0 0 x2 is 0 uh, x2 is 0 1 0 and my last vector is 0 0 1 vector addition you do by component wise so first will be lambda 1 then this will be give me 0 this will give me 0 so first I am getting lambda 1 0 then second will be second component of each vector so this is 0 
then this is lambda 2 and this is 0 and last third component if I will consider 0, 0 and 1. What you are getting? The vectors you have uh, which you have taken resulting all the scalars in 0. This is very clear by the definition now that the vectors given vectors are linearly independent because all the scalars you are getting as zeros when you are solving the equation the linear combination when you are solving you are getting this all the scalars as zero now it's not every time you will be getting linear independence and if the vectors are linear independence it means there is no relation there is no dependency it means no need to find any relation they are all in different directions that is why the uh, scalar values you are getting as zero now i just take up uh, a different example because it's not that every time you get easily saw uh, the, uh, the equations will get easily solved so i am just considering the examples where you you get might get little difficult uh, relation and let me take up so my second example will be i am taking x1 as 1 2 x2 as 2 4 so uh, again consider the linear combination So the linear combination will go like lambda 1 x2, lambda 1 x1, lambda 2 x2 equal to 0, lambda 1 1 2, lambda 2 2 4 equal to 0. Take the first component lambda 1 2 lambda 2 equal to 0, 2 lambda 1 plus 4 lambda 2 equal to 0. Just see this one. When you will solve, both the both the equations are same. I am just taking two common from the second one, this from this one. It is giving me the same equation. It means my both the equations are coinciding and my lambda 1 equal to minus 2 lambda 2. So, you can see even uh, uh, from uh, here also you can see if I just put up lambda 1 is minus 2 lambda 2. I put this it, it, it means this time it is not a uh, uh, 0 0 case. It means there is dependency and now I am putting the value of lambda 1 here in the main equation. This is my main equation all the time for linear independence and dependence. If I substitute the value of lambda, uh, 2 lambda 2 uh, x2 plus lambda 2 x2 and uh, am I oh this is x1 what I did I just substituted the value of lambda 1 in the equation this so this is giving me lambda 2 you just remove and you are getting 2 x1 plus x2 equal to 0 now from here Either this is 0 or this is 0. But this is not 0 because if you are saying this 0, then lambda 1 will automatically become 0 and we are uh, concluding a wrong thing because uh, automatically or by yourself you will not be opting that this will be 0. So finally what I am getting, my x2 is, it means this is not 0. We cannot say this is 0. It means this is 0. So x2 is twice x1. And now, uh, you just see the choice of the vectors also. My x1 was this. My x2 is this. Clearly see. x2 is basically twice of this. You multiply this by 2 and you are getting the dependency. So uh, this is how uh, this uh, uh, two, two problems we have discussed. So uh, this is the end of the part 1. And in part 1 I have told you... Uh, how or the definition of linear independence and dependence of vectors. Two examples I took completely different. In part two, we'll be covering uh, different problems uh, where we will be taking uh, vectors in different dimensions. The, uh, our, uh, in part one, we took two by two uh, vectors of same uh, uh, component two by two, and in uh, uh, the other was three by three. So different problems in part two we'll be discussing.
If you want to study this topic in detail, please refer to the book by S. John Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. If you like the video, please do like, share, and subscribe S. John Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates of the upcoming videos. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.